Hello everybody of YouTube. Sorry I haven't been doing videos lately. I've been kind of out of it and also as you can see I'm not doing so well. I've been kind of sick and also handling schoolwork. We're kind of in the midway of the semester but anyway. Okay this new episode of Vampire Diaries. Jeremy! He went from the from the kid brother who was always in trouble to super hot hunter. I mean, seriously, I. He had so much development in this story, and to, for him to be killed off in the middle of the season, oh my gosh. It was just. Oh. I felt like I should have done a video last time, you know, when his mark grew. I'm very sure that was all for the girls watching this show. <laughs> I can only imagine what is hap was gonna happen to Elena. She's pretty much lost everybody in her life, from her parents to her aunt, now to Jeremy. Who knows how she's gonna go on? But also the most thing that ticked me off about that, about this episode, was the return of Catherine. This is the reason why I like Warner Brothers as opposed to anything else. It tells wonderful stories. And also, even though we did not expect Catherine to come back, it's pretty much what she would do. She's trying to look after herself to get what she wants, and killing Jeremy, it's classic, it's classic Catherine. However, what stumps me is why she wants the cure in the first place. I mean, seriously, you would think, out of all the people next to Damon, she loves being a vampire. Why would she want this cure? Does she want to use it on Klaus? It brings on speculation. And also on further speculation, even though that Jeremy is no longer around, there's still Galen, which whom, by the way, is very, very cool. I mean, he's able to take on Damon in a fight and also take on Rebecca in a fight, too. He's a damn awesome hunter. And also his Scottish accent, oh my gosh, it's just something to fall for. Also, I just can't help but think of Galen and Damon as my next slash fan pairing. I'm sorry, you know, it's just one of those things. When I sense chemistry between two guys, I, I feel like I have to. And even though that, again, so even though Jeremy is no longer with us, rest in peace, Jeremy, it brings a possibility that the hunter side of this story can actually move on a little, since Galen is around, and he explained that the cure was meant to, to be used for Silas. Which, by the way, it brings up the speculation on who should get the cure. Since apparently everybody wanted this cure, from Stefan to Rebecca to Caroline, you know, everybody wants it. It's possible that Elena, you know, being the star of the show, will most likely get it, but I wonder if it would even matter. She's lost everybody in her life, so would it be, you know, would there be any point in actually trying to take the cure? I'm just saying. Bonnie pretty much could most likely be dead for all we know, or unless Bonnie... Unless Elena comes in the in the nick of time, or Stefan comes in the nick of time to heal her before she dies. They're gonna need her, especially up against Silas. Now as for Silas, holy crap, when he opened his eyes, I was scared. Now, what's to say that he won't be as badass as Klaus, possibly more? And apparently what Cole has been telling us all this time, it could be true. So, we'll have to stay tuned next episode. And I'm just... I just have to say again, oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, again, another show that gave me feels. <laughs> okay, everybody, that's all the input I have on this episode. Sorry if it just seemed a bit scrambled and me just mourning Jeremy. It's just so sad. And we can only hope that he's not uh, banging Anna on the other side to Bonnie's dismay. Alright, guys, see you later. Bye.